Hey, how's it going guys? John Santos and welcome to this channel where we help entrepreneurs start and grow their business ASAP. Now in today's video, what I'm going to cover is how you can leverage print-on-demand services, also known as made-to-order, to help launch and grow your clothing line. Stick around. So for any of you guys that are landing on this channel and are not sure about what print to order or what made to order is, to break it down, it's pretty much you're creating designs, you're offering products for sale that people can buy. You put them up online, but you don't pay for any inventory. Inventory is only paid for after it is sold. So only after somebody buys a product that you put online, do you actually pay to get it made. And now the third party actually prints it, they deliver it for you, and it's all branded under your brand name. So the customer never knew where that product came from, they didn't know that you didn't have inventory somewhere, it's all seamless, easy to handle. And now fortunately there is some videos on this, there's expanded videos, I'm going to link it down below. And then I also want to give a huge mad shout out to Printful who made this video possible. And they're the ones that have one of the top rated customer service wise, product wise, quality wise, made to order, print to order platforms there is online right now guys. They have a US based location, they have the capabilities to ship orders worldwide. All right, so you're definitely gonna wanna check them out. But before you do that, we're gonna show you guys how easy it is to get set up in this print to order model. That way you know exactly what it's gonna take and then you can launch your brand a lot sooner than you expected this year. All right, so let's jump right into it. All right, guys, and now in order to get started, just simply click the links down below. If you already have a Shopify account, just make sure you log into that. And then we're going to head right over to the app market. Now, for those that don't have it, just click it, get a Shopify account, and then install Printful. Now, if you just logged into your actual backend, uh, you'd go down towards the app section of it, and then you'd go to visit app store. Now, here you have a variety of different apps available for your store. Now, the way Shopify works is that everything is pretty much like an application that's run similar to like iPhone type stuff. I mean, they make it pretty, pretty straightforward and easy to install. So what you do is you'll head on over to that. And if you didn't have Printful, um, you could easily just click the link down below if you just want to look it up through here, you could also do that and you just get it and install it. In this case, I already installed Printful to the site, so it's already here. The next step in the process is going to be to simply open up the Printful site. The beautiful thing about Printful and about Shopify is that they have a really easy to navigate system. So once you land on here, you literally will hit add product. Now it'll, it'll ask you for the product category. So you could see a bunch of different things you have available from clothing apparel, you have all over shirts. So this is something where you can, you could pretty much sublimate the entire design of the shirt. So it's not bound to a certain area. You have wall art. So for those of you that are artists that want to maybe sell photos or whether you want to sell paintings or whatever it is, you can easily upload your artwork to the canvas. You have mugs. I'm actually thinking about installing a mug thing on one of my websites with different quotes, whatever it is, whatever you're into. Pillows uh, to really accent what it is that your brand has. Uh, tote bags, hats, they do do embroidery. There was a few people that were asking if embroidery was available and yes it is. They have leggings available. Uh, phone cases, sublimated socks, dresses, skirts. As you can see, there's a wide variety of things available. So let's just get, let's just say we want to do an all over print. Now, it gives you an option of doing all of these different styles of shirts. As you can see, there's tank tops, there's women's, there's different crop tops, there's v necks, there's dress shirts. Um, and the pricing here reflects what it will cost. All right. So, Let's just go with a classic, let's go with a classic T. So once you click on this, it'll pretty much say it'll configure your design and uh, you can select the sizes that you want to make it available. So extra small, small, medium, large. So let's just go with choose a file. Um, I already uploaded this file here, so we can just go with this one. But if you didn't upload it, you just find the print file install it now when it comes to artwork on all over print just keep in mind that there is going to be areas that are going to be cut off so you just want to make sure that uh, either your design is a full wraparound or is designed for the base of this all right so it, it does need to have a certain print quality as well so like for instance mine was more of a square um, on my artwork is more of a square so what i did is i zoomed in on here um, and then it tells you what DPI it's getting printed at. So if I had 
a bigger, if I had a bigger file here, it'd get printed at a really good DPI or whatever, but I'm zooming in on it. Um, that's why it says print quality is average since I did have to zoom in on it. So just keep that in mind when you're tailoring your artwork, guys. Just make sure that it's tailored for what it is you're doing. I use a lot of different um, repeat patterns. So when it comes to this, literally I'm just using my repeat patterns that we use when we print sublimation. For this t-shirt, don't get confused. Upload your artwork to make sure it fits on this. Now that we have that, you're going to go back print. In the back print, I'll just go with the same one since I did have a repeated pattern. Once you're ready, once you upload it, just proceed to pricing. So the mock-up format, it's, it's giving you options to do JPEG and PNG and it tells you the pros and cons of each. Now for the most part, guys, a lot of, you have to kind of consider what your market um, has available in terms of Wi-Fi or in terms of connectivity. Um, the smaller the file size, but as long as it's pretty good quality, generally the faster your store will load. Now this is keeping in mind, people might not have Wi-Fi, which is very fast. So they might be on the go looking at your site because you hit them with an advertising on Facebook or on Instagram and they want to see what you have. And if it's hard to load a file, they're going to get a little bit anxious and they may not even stick around and actually load that image. Keep that in mind. I'd, I'd recommend smaller, um, even though Shopify does have unlimited uh, storage, it always is a little bit of an issue when it comes when you have a lot of products on your site. All right, so then it has the product title. So let's just say we're going to title this Camel Tank. And then you could create your description here. I'll just leave that there for now. And if you want to change anything of this, you definitely can. You can do it right now or you can do it later. Okay, so now that you've done all that, uh, it'll give you the option to what retail price you want to fit. All right, so what it does is you have the extra small to extra large. So the print full price, this is what they're going to be charging you. Okay, this is what it's going to cost for you to get it printed. And then the retail price, this is a price that you're going to offer it available on your site. And they're telling you that you're going to be making $11 on that. All right, so say you just want to increase your profit. Say you want to make another $19. Um, so you want to double it. You want to cover some overhead. You want to cover whatever costs associated to your website. Uh, you always got to keep all the costs that you have currently in mind and you want to have a good enough profit on the items that you're selling to cover your expenses and then still have a profit to be able to reinvest back into your business. That's the only way you're going to grow. That's the way you're going to be able to do more advertising, more marketing to further get more customers. All right, so let's just say we want to offer this shirt for $38. Now, you also want to keep in mind what the competition is doing it for, guys. If you're a fairly new brand, if you're just starting out, you don't necessarily want to compete on price, but you do want to be competitive. So, for instance, in this one, uh, since it is just a tank top, there it's, it's a nice tank top. I mean, the design looks dope. I mean, obviously, if you had some real good imagery, you could demand a little bit more. Um, so for this one, we're just going to go with 35. I think it's a well-priced item at that. And you have a profit at 16. Now, you could always edit prices for the rest of your items. And as you can see on this product, Printful does a $19 price just all around, even if it's extra large. Now, on some items, you will be paying a little bit more if it goes to the extra large because it requires an additional setup. So for this, for this sake, it's only charging 19 straight across the board. But if you did want to charge a little bit extra more, you could add it to that size category there. And this is tell you this will tell you the profit that you're getting. All right, so then it says product visibility, published product. This will be visible in your online store. Um, so once you submit to store, you pretty much, it'll pretty much be processing here. And as you can tell, it's creating the, it's generating the mockup for you. It's creating the product descriptions. It's doing everything. And it's also communicating with the printfuls backend. There's a lot of software and technology involved with the backend. Seems pretty simple for you guys to just upload an image and then get the product printed. But there's a lot of things that go into it. There's a lot of checks and balances on their end. And there's a lot of setup that they have, that they have created in order to be able to streamline it and make it extremely easy and simple as possible for you to use their app. I give mad love to anybody that creates a product that's super simple and easy to use because it's not easy to do. And once it's done, it'll say pretty much it's added. All right, so now here you can view it in your storefront. Once you click view it in your storefront, as you can see, there's the tank here. Pretty dope how like it creates a mock-up as if it's already printed. So they do a lot of cool effects to make it look like the shirt, right? Um, and you got the backside here. People can add it right to their cart and they are good to go. Hit the cart there and now they're ready to check out. 
And then once it's ready to check out, you guys are literally selling your product without having to carry any inventory and Printful delivers on that item. All right, it's as simple as that. I also uploaded another image from Printful onto Socks, just so you guys see that there's a variety of different items available for you to be selling on your site. All right, now this is where I mean about curating a line that kind of accents each other that way. Somebody wants to grab the shirt, they'll grab the socks, they'll grab the mug, they'll grab the hat, whatever it is. Like you want to be able to upsell them. Printful makes it super easy, guys. Expand your product category. Go out there, sell it. Focus on the designs, guys. As you can tell, this is a very simple one I just mocked up and threw up here. But the better your designs are, the better your sales and marketing materials online through social media, the more sales you're going to get. Okay, guys, so now what I want to do is I want to show you a website of somebody that's doing print to order. Now, I found this through Printful's um, app. On the bottom, it says different items that people are selling and the way that they're using their app to benefit their clothing line. So, mad shout outs to these guys. I don't know who they are, but if you land on this video, mad shout out to your site. It looks pretty dope. Now, this is a really good example of somebody that's taking that print to order model, showing it in a lifestyle, and selling clothing to people on a print to order method. So, they're not necessarily carrying any inventory. And if they do, they probably are carrying a few, but for the most part, they are utilizing Printful to really expand their product categories and see what designs are selling. Now, for instance, this is a printed design that they created on leggings, which Printful also does have leggings. And what they did is they're actually showing you how it's going to look when you're using it in the workout gear. All right, this is very important to really show the lifestyle, depict how people are going to wear your clothes, all right? And as you can tell, the sizing is there, the descriptions, really good. And then as you can also see, there's related products. So they're expanding their offering to you. As you can see, they have a variety of clothing and apparel available here. Different colors, different options available, giving you really good options for workout clothes. So there you have it, guys. I hope this video helped you better understand the print to order model and how easy it is to integrate with Shopify. So now if you haven't started your Shopify account, I just ask that you use my links in the description below. That way I can continue creating additional content and continue helping you guys out throughout your journey. And now as you can see, Printful made it super easy for you to get started. So definitely consider giving them a shot when you start your print to order model. You can order samples off of them so you can order what design samples that you need so you can really see how the shirt's going to come out and you can really ask people for real-time feedback whether it's your friends family or people that you may know that are seeing the shirt in person that always helps it also helps that you're able to create lookbooks and photo shoots with your samples so overall printful really helps entrepreneurs get started uh, with little resources or experience i personally think one of the biggest challenges that people are facing today is is trying to merge the traditional method to the current method with technology that we have and that's where i'm trying to help you guys get ahead of that learning curve is you don't need to spend money on equipment to learn how to print shirts you don't need to order any large quantities from manufacturers to print your ideas and see if they're going to sell be methodical be strategic use resources such as printful use resources such as shopify and launch your brand see if it sells work on your designs focus on your marketing focus on your sales and more importantly focus on continue growing to create a bigger and better business so always align and use the resources that are out there to help you do that Okay, so if you have any questions, comment down below. I'd appreciate the subscribe to the channel, the like of this video, and the share with a friend. Um, the more I can get the word out on this, the more people I can reach, and ultimately, the more I can help. All right, so let's continue working through this, guys. If you have any questions, once again, just comment down below. Reach out to me on Instagram, and let's get to it. Talk soon. Bye.